Hi, welcome to Photoshop Basic Training brought to you by 7Tutors.com. In this lesson, we'll be looking at saving and exporting our work files from Photoshop. So we have come to the end of Photoshop Basic Training. Along the way, we looked at how to manipulate our images using tools from the Tools Palette, how to create beautiful designs and apply some effects to our images by using the filter and the layer styles. We also looked at how to manipulate the layers in the layer palette to create some depth and 3D effect. But another beautiful thing about Photoshop is that Photoshop allows us to export or save our work in a variety of formats. And we have various formats that we can save them in. We have formats for the web. So if you are going to publish your work on the web, these are the formats you will use. Or if you are going to export your work to a desktop publishing program for printing, these are the formats you will use. And this makes it very ideal for one person to convert an image from one format to another. So if you are working with a colleague or you are working on an image on a web format and you want it in the print format, Photoshop can allow you to just take it from that format and put it in another format. Easy as that. Okay, so we're going to be saving our work. And to do this, we'll come up here to the menu bar click on file and then we choose save as or you can use the shortcut if you know it the shift ctrl s or the shift command s on the Mac and when you click this it brings up a new window from here you can specify the name of the file and select the format that you want to save it as so you can save it either in the um, Photoshop format which is the PSD that is if you do not know which format you want to use you can just save it in the Photoshop PSD or you can save it in the web format which is the BMP or the print format the TIFF now the thing about the, um, the PSD is that it supports all Photoshop features so we're going to be saving our work in the PSD we'll call it um, first save okay, let's come up here and create a folder for it we'll call it PSD and then we save our work and just like that our work has been saved so we are going to navigate to the directory where we saved our work to look at it and then this is the form and uh, this is the folder we just created and when you click on it you see our Photoshop file now the thing is you cannot preview it because it appears as a file but from Photoshop you can make use of the Adobe bridge you can make use of the Adobe bridge or the mini bridge so when you click on it you just locate the image the image file and there you go first save so you can preview from mini bridge or adobe bridge or anyone you like and it makes your work easier for you so if you have um, an image given to you by your colleague and it's in the photoshop file format you can just use the adobe bridge or the mini bridge to preview it to know what it looks like now Another thing, whenever we make changes to our image, we notice an asterisk right here at the top. Now this means that a, ch um, a change has been made to our document. And whenever we save, it is removed. So the shortcut to save our work is the Control S. Now we just um, applied the shortcut and you can see the asterisk is gone here. But the thing about applying the shortcut is that it only saves our work it doesn't save as which means that anything we have saved now overwrites our previous work so let's come here to the mini bridge and you can see that it has um, replaced our previous work with the new one we just saved but if you want to retain your previous work alongside with the new one you can just come back here and apply the save as which allows you to now specify another um, name let's call this second save okay and then you can see we have two different files so we use the second one that is the save as if we want to retain um, our document or we can just use the save which is a file and the save anytime we make changes and we just want to overwrite what is already there 
Okay, so that is about it. All right. <laughs> so feel free to come to go online. Just go to 7tutors.com. We have a lot of tutorials there on Photoshop, After Effects, anything you need. All right. So this has been Photoshop Basic Training brought to you by 7tutors.com.